So and that's typically what happens. And I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I'm just saying that conference is known more for their offensive play, meaning they can score a lot of points, right. but they're not known to stop you from scoring a lot of points. It's few with the bosses, few with the bosses. You gotta sacrifice. If you wanna move like bosses move. YMA, Young Millionaires Association. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the association. Welcome, 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 guys, to the YMA Nation podcast, episode number 52. 52. 52. 52. All right. We might have to get, like, every episode, do a round of applause. Every I know, that may one. become That's redundant, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. If you are on right now, make sure you click the like button. Like, Subscribe. Like comment and subscribe look she tell you guys subscribe she's excited trying to help y'all win some money man the two thousand dollars two thousand dollars look so i'm trying to help y'all i'm on your side yes I'm trying to help y'all we are at 1399 all right that's like i gotta do some quick math in my head 200 and no that's three that's 311 people in a week thank you guys we are going to hit 2000 y'all yes we are going to hit 2000 guys we so make are. sure if you're on and you have not clicked that subscribe button when we hit 2000 by the end of this month we are going to do a drawing for two thousand dollars all right we'll do Sounds it good. we'll hit the number we are two thousand two thousand subscribers equals two thousand bucks these allergies got me messed up y'all <laughs> <laughs> it's allergy season's here if it's y'all didn't friday football so she was football. out she was out in the Ugh. field playing flag football oh, yeah <laughs> yeah that's what it was so let me introduce myself i am joe wallace and this is rebecca wallace and we're going to talk about football today are you ready Every Friday, I'm Every ready. Friday. She pretty much lead the show. I just ready sit back. every Friday. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I do during the show. <laughs> and, and, then she's like, and then she asked me a question. Hey. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miami Hurricanes, yeah. And then she'd be like, yeah, Miami Hurricanes. I'd be like, yeah, that yeah, Miami Hurricanes. not <laughs> what I say. Can you see this shirt? You see she yeah. a Clemson fan. So yeah. let's go. Let's talk about some football. All right. So. Um, hey, we always like to start with a little controversy, huh? Uh oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's see let's see if you know what where I'm going. Where am I going? Um He don't know where I'm going. We going we going. I um, can I can read it right there. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so Les Miles, former LSU coach, is out at Kansas. Okay. So he got fired he got- for allegations uh oh of inappropriate behavior towards female students while head coach at LSU. No way. So allegations um, I think they said from back in 2013, um, and he he is out at Kansas, so they are looking for a new football coach. And also, hold on before you just like that. Kevin Hart said, "Don't think you just go just say that <laughs> and it just go fly over and not get talked about." Go so, right past that. Yeah, we just gonna go right. Well, past I have that. more information. Oh, about the same subject. About the same subject. Okay, let's keep going. So the athletic di- director. Is gone now too. Not so, because of the same thing. Well, yeah. Really? He's gone. Gone. Well, they had a meeting and he, they agreed for him to step down from that. To the to depart. To, to, to depart. He had to go. Wow. So both of them. Mm hmm. Man, yeah. like just throwing your career away. That's yeah, and they're allegations, so you yeah, don't know the the full content of the matter. Yeah. You know, so it's allegations, so you don't know what really transpired. But the school has to protect its name at the end of the day, right? You know, they whether it's factual and it comes out to be factual information or if it comes out to not be factual information with the information they have at this point in time that school just has to make the best decision for its 
itself. I I agree. But yeah. man. Yeah. I mean it's sad. It is. It is. I completely agree. Completely agree. So you that's learn. our controversial news for today. You gotta learn. It's funny, I had a conversation today and it was talking about learning to um what was the word that we use? Learn well, pretty much you have to learn to control your passions in life. Mm-hmm. So that's just interesting. Like no matter what it is, if it's drugs, alcohol, sexual behavior, like being able to control those passions. Mm-hmm. So that's just big and that's just human being. So it's just right. it's just hard. But right. man, it's just sad to see like a good coach. Man. Yeah. So Things happen. Life goes on, but, you know, that's something that he'll have to deal with because, you know, of course they're going to have investigations and, you know, how hard will it be for him to get a job? And then just that lingers with you, even if it comes to be nothing, you know, or. What's even more important is, like, if he have a family. Right, yeah, right. It, doesn't, it just impacts everything. Yeah. So, yeah, that was our controversial news. Um. So, more controversial news. Let's go. I want to hear all the controversial news. I know. We're going to get all this out of the way, and then we're going to hit the good stuff. Okay. Um, Ohio State and Duke pause activities after COVID-19 upticks. So, both of them have paused. They've paused for the cause? They've paused for the cause. (laughs) Everybody else is still going. We were just so, talking about like what the plans were for the twenty twenty one season with the COVID, and you were like, "Pull out those um, what do they have in the stands? The fake people? Uh, the yeah, cardboard? The cardboard people? Pull out the cardboard yeah. people and trash that because everybody's oh, coming Clemson, back. Clemson already announced that they're planning on having a full stadium. Full stadium. Full stadium, and Alabama has said it. And so that's they're ready what they're to get back. On. They're ready to get back to the money. Uh, Clemson announced they're having a spring game this year. A spring game. Now they will still be enforcing the limitation there, so they'll only allowing nineteen thousand fans in for the spring game. Is I wonder if masks are going to be required. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Depends on what the CDC, I guess, for. Is recommending, for, for, but they already took then. away like the mass requirement, yeah. right? So even with large population gatherings, like, like previously, if you was going to have an event with a large gathering, it would have to be approved from the state. Yeah. So that's going too. Yeah. So. And I'm talking about the state of it. South Carolina. I'm talking about the state we're, of South Carolina. Getting back to it, guys. Getting back to it. Um. Now Clemson did. There was the question was brought up at Dabo's uh, conference that he was asked about the camps, like if they were going to be holding summer camps this year. For you guys who don't know, if you have sons that play football or things of that nature, um, there's camps that they have in the summertime. Uh, they have different kind of camps. I mean, they have softball camps, they have cheerleading camps, they have tennis camps, but um the football camps they get to the younger ones work out with some of the players and assistant coaches and things like that and it's really a way for your your child to get seen by those coaches by the coaching staff in order to help them get recruited by that school if that's where they want to attend so miami's having camps this year who miami miami having a camp this Uh, year miami's having a camp this year um, Florida State is having camps this year, which Florida is pretty much open, I think. So, right. you know, they're having camps. Um, and so as far as the Clemson camp, that was said that they have not gotten back to them on if they were going to be able to do that yet. But they would need to know by mid-April because it's going to take about that amount of time to get it prepped because typically they have them in June. So, and I think that's, that's good a, for the kids. Like, hopefully, you know, the young players, the young players have the chance to go out there and practice with like these huge colleges, mm-hmm. universities, actually, right? But yeah, even some of the small colleges had camps too. Well, 
they do. A lot of them aren't due to everything going on with COVID. But typically, a lot of your, some of the small, smaller schools are. They're having like the, the um, combination camp where you have different coaches from different small, smaller schools there. Um, but some of the smaller schools that have the individual camps haven't reopened them yet. Um, I've been looking. <laughs> so, um, but camps are definitely a way for, you know, to get the, the kid's name out there and, and in the face of the coaches so they can see how they perform, um, what their speed is and things like that that they look for. But it also helps the child to get more prepared, you know, like acclimated that to con- that. Yeah, yeah. To that environment too. Yeah. I was having a um, conversation with my son and we were actually talking about the Miami and the Florida state camp. And, <laughs> and I was explaining to him that, you know, even if you don't want to attend that school, it's a good way to get your still get in front of those coaches because typically the way recruiting goes is one school starts looking at you and getting your name out there because some coaches communicate. Uh, other schools start looking at you too. So it's all it takes is one or two schools to catch on to your name. Right. And then, like a and buzz. Then, uh, then your name's a buzz in the coaching world, and then they want to see what you're capable of. Right. So I said, it, it's not all about where you want to go to school. It's about just getting in front of coaches and them seeing what you're capable of and getting your name out there. You know, it's all about, it's almost like networking. Right. The camp is like networking for business. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> it's all business. It's all business. Everything so, is business, right? Yep. So we're waiting to see, but. I think that'll be good if they get some of the camps opened up and give these kids an opportunity because camps really, especially for like once you get into high school, for recruiting purposes, it's like a major recruiting tool, you know, is going to the camps and getting in front of the coaches. I mean, you can Google it. And even the information they give online is you go to camps and you get in the face of the coaches so they can see you know, film is fine, right. and and you know, contacting them on Twitter, and you know, Twitter's really bad, for, um, good for recruiting right now. You know, it's high, in in ways to get re- recruited and posting on Twitter a lot and tagging the coaches in it and stuff. But the main thing is camps and combines and getting your name in front of these coaches. And when all the camps shut down, these you know, 10th, 11th graders really fell behind in that recruiting sense, you know, unless they were being looked at as like in junior high right. because they've just been in the, you know, That's in so that cool. arena right. for so long. So it, it was really a disadvantage for those kids that depend on those camps and rely on those camps to get them seen more. Interesting. Yeah. Look. Y'all got the information on camps. Like, I will tell you. And recruiting. If, <laughs> if you do have a child that's playing, I feel it's, it's important to be able to put that child in camps. Camps and personal trainers. Personal trainers. If it's affordable if for it's you. Affordable, if it's affordable. Because I can tell you, um, you, well, you did research before where you were saying, like, Trevor Lawrence had a personal trainer to help him. Um get better at his techniques and his quarterback techniques and things like that. And a lot of these, the kids that go further and make it further do have, you know, someone that individually works with them and kind of pushes them. And I started off checking it every other week, just like most people do. Then it got out of control. I couldn't help myself. I started checking it day after day after day. I didn't realize that I was becoming addicted until my wife said something. What did she say? She said, it's just a credit score, relax. Are you checking your credit score? Huh? Uh, Hold on. Personal trainer to get you to a higher level of performance. Right. And it, that's good, too. Yeah. So there's a lot that goes into it. 
That's my information for Football Friday, guys. <laughs> All right, so I got a couple of things, that, and then we're, we're going to get ready to get it wrapped up. Hey, so, what you got for us? Uh, well, I got a lot of information, but I'm not going to go over everything. So here are some of the expected players. I'm not going to go into, like, the top three powerhouse teams. I'm going to go into, like, some of the other players who probably don't get all the shine that they deserve. Okay. So quarterback McKenzie Milton is coming back from his leg injury from Florida State. So they're expecting him to be a big impact player. This is CBS Sports saying this, too, that he's expected to okay. be a big impact player if his offensive line could step up. Oh, so that means Florida State needs a new team? So he's okay. expected to Got be, it. as a quarterback, he's expected to be a top impact player if their offensive line gives him the protection that he needs. The next player, Eric Gray. From Oklahoma, running back. He averaged 8.5 yards a carry last year. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's extraordinary yeah. Yeah, for an RB. So, again, you know what it comes back to? They say since their line is refreshed, hopefully they could give him the protection that he needs to become. Uh, I mean, he did good last year, 8.5 mm -hmm. yards per yeah. carry. But you're playing a non-defensive conference. Uh, that's typically what happens. But even being able to perform even better. Imagine a, um, him doing like 10 yards a carry. That would be yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Again, when you're in a non-defensive conference, then that's typically what happens. And I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I'm just saying that conference is known more for their offensive play, meaning they can score a lot of points, right. but they're not – known to stop you from scoring a lot of points. So typically they just so outscore normally, their op opponents. So you know what she's saying is the score is <laughs> normally like 45 to 49 <laughs> yeah. because they score a lot because of points they, on offense. They score a lot of points. So We shall um. see. They're expecting it to be a change in this season. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, for Oklahoma, yes, they have the, – the coach has stated that he does want to work on the defensive side of the ball – because he felt like that's what really hindered them last year. I mean, they had an explosive offense last year. So, they have to – and Oklahoma's been that way for years. They've always – they always keep uh, a, a, good, a decent a, a good offense. offense. Yeah. So, I'm not knocking them. They typically have a, a good offense. Well, it's just their defense is always – can't stop opponent's offense and they outscore – they typically get outscored. But you're saying in overall, their opponents, too, can't stop. Uh, it doesn't matter who they're playing, the offense. That's what you were pretty much alluded to earlier. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we shall see how we he performs. Let's go. And, you know, we had to take it down to the 305. So, transfer from the portal, defensive back Tariq Stevenson from Georgia. He's expected to be a big impact player. He was a number three prospect. And how's your quarterback coming along? Have you have you got any updated information on? Yes, yes. We have secret information. <laughs> we have our secret oh my gosh, weapon for 2021 and his training performance in spring camp right now. So I'm not going to give you guys because I know it's probably some Clemson players and Clemson coaches trying to watch the Wyoming Nation podcast and, 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 and trying to get the tips and the secrets to everything that's going on with Miami. Miami, need, Miami needs to be Ooh. focused on Alabama right now. That's all yes. I have to say. And they, <laughs> they said that the powerhouses, it could be a shift in the top four. It, they said the first three games of the season is going to be a telltale of – no, it's not. Who so said that? If Clemson loses their first two games, what happens? They're not going to lose their first two games. But I'm just saying, this is what I'm saying. This is what she's saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what she's saying. Listen, y'all. The first this is what game she's saying. doesn't. We already had this conversation. Hold on. Hold We're on. We're not doing it. Hold again. on. But We're not doing it. I got again. some good information for you okay. guys. I got a key word for you. So if you're on, make sure down in the, uh, in the comment section, you'll see the link. For the contest where 
click the link, it'll take you to the page. And all you have to do is put in the keyword, and it's NCAA. 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 Like for the football, for the league. Yeah, NCAA. For the league. So click the link down in the comment section and put in NCAA, and your name will go into the drawing for the $2,000. We are going to hit 2,000 subscribers, right? Yep. All right, guys. You taking us out? Taking us out. It's been fun, guys. It has. It has. Man, what's up with these scandals? Stop the scandals. <laughs> that, that, that's all I'm going to say is, is, is stop the scandals. I mean, and, 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 and what's crazy is it's, it's always something that's like from the past, like a Bill Cosby thing. This happened back in 2002. And now it's just all, it's just exploding. That's the sad part about it. But yeah. anyway, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 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 <laughs> guys, we will see you on Monday for Wealth Building Monday. We have a special guest. We have a special guest on Monday. All right. I'm not even going that to spoil it. That means I get the day off. It's, yeah, you get the day what, off. Well, you yeah, yeah, lucky you. Where's your special guest? So you have one like once every like five episodes. I'm getting there. She's getting there, guys. So we will see you guys on Monday for Wealth Building Monday. YMA, Young Millionaires Association. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the association. Joe. Ah.